What's going on, everybody? Can you hear me? Check, check. Check one, two. We are getting ready to do a kind of a world building through maps. So I did a map making tutorial um, and we kind of got distracted last week. So I'm going to redo it and I'm going to I've been really thinking on the map we started and I got some what I think are some good ideas. And so I'd like to uh, do a little bit of world building with those. If uh, if we can do that. So let me start this up. We're here on Incarnate. I should probably let me put that in the title. Um, Incarnate.com. Great website for map making. It's probably my favorite website I've found so far. Um, I bought the pro version, but honestly, uh, the free version's fine. You can get your basics done with the free version, and it's no big deal. So, all right, we are live on the YouTubes. We are live on the Twitch. Welcome. Uh, any questions or comments or anything anyone wants to know, uh, hit me up in the chat. I will be... Happy to answer them. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to make the size about 80%. Um, I like to do three continents. You can real, you can do one big continent. You can do five small ones, ten small ones. It doesn't matter. played a lot of Civilization as a kid. so And I just like to kind of free form. That's too big up top. Let me undo that. Freeform a little bit, just kind of get the basic idea. Um, I usually like to leave a little bit more in the bottom. Hmm. No, let's let's redo that. Let's bring this down to seventy percent. All right, sixty nine percent is what we'll go with. Uh, I like to leave a little bit more room around the outside for like islands and whatnot. Uh, you're gonna be able to do all of your Big edits, get more in-depth and detailed as you go. So the big thing we did is we left this kind of great lake area down at the bottom last time, and I really liked it. And I started thinking about what that actually would mean. Let's just do a big circle. So you can do just basic shapes, and then we're going to go back later and kind of go in depth and detailed on them. All right, so let me subtract this. I don't like having the map go all the way up to the top. So, so you just go to the subtract tool. So this is the main tool right here, your mask tool. This is where you choose kind of the shapes. So here's your circular shape, very smooth. I don't like that as much for the big open maps. Uh, you can get your grid out doesn't really help for this kind of map. I like the star or the shape edges. And that looks blocky and it looks not great, but that's fine. We're going to go back in later. I recommend just kind of mess around with it. Now we got a couple of bodies of water that we can work around. Because when you think about, say, the Great Lakes in uh, in the northeast, right, to, to north mid, I don't know, um, of the country... There's a bunch of big cities like Chicago and stuff that are that are surrounding those lakes for a reason. That's a place of of resources. And that's what you kind of want to let the map making kind of build the world for you. So the main thing I want to do, I don't want to forget this. I'm gonna go all. I'm gonna make a little river. So go all the way down to one. I'm going to put a little, oh, got to go subtract, put a little river right here in the middle of this place, this island, and then let's go to like 10% here. And this is going to be, a in the world, this will be a really contested area, an obvious divide. Any obvious divide, divides in geography usually lead to obvious divides in like culture 
and war. So we're going to have this canal right here. See, this little canal will be a just a hotbed for war. This will be a big place for war in, uh, in the world. But this over here is the main thing I want to... Um, oop, not that. It's a mistake, but hey, let's use the mistake. And now it's an island. All right. So I'm going to go a little detailed on this lake. I think this lake is going to be incredibly important in this world. I don't know why, but just tons of resources, tons of kingdoms. Let's make it look a little more natural. So the big thing that I wanted to focus on with this lake is where is the water coming from? Most big lakes have rivers feeding into them, and those rivers are coming from high Arctic areas, right? So you have glaciers and stuff melting, or you have uh, snowfall and stuff on mountains, like in Montana, right? And all the water, all the snow melts, feeds into the river, the rivers feed into the lakes, the lakes end up or the rivers usually end up, uh, can end up going to the oceans as well. Water always finds a way to go somewhere. So the big question I was asking myself when I was thinking on this map was where, what feeds this giant lake right here? We don't want this one up top as big, uh, but we can have one. So I'm thinking this middle part here, this will be the Arctic, okay? Normally this is the equator, right? You think about the equator right in the middle, and with the equator, you have hot, you have or heat, you have warmth, you have tropical, you have beaches. But what if we flip that over on its head and actually let's get some texture here? Actually, did kind of Arctic in the middle. So let's find a snow. Um, See if there's any good snow. Ah, that might be too thick. We'll put it there for now. I don't like it. Um, we'll put it there almost as a placeholder for now. Just to let us know, hey, there's snow in the middle. But let's find something better. Some better brushes. All right. You could also change the shape of, and we're going to go in, in detail and make these lands, these continents look look better. Add some, uh, let's add like a chain of islands maybe up top here. See, there's not a lot of space down here, and that's, that's where you want it. Like it what I would recommend doing is do something big like this, but then don't be afraid to edit. Look at that. I like that. Now I like that a lot better. Let's kind of open this up. It's a little bay. All right. Boom. Perfect. Now you have something bay. Whatever you want that bay to be, it can be another hotbed of civilization. So make the big clumps and then just kind of do a little editing. A little bit of editing. Now we can do some islands down here. Some happy little islands here. Huh? a little chain of like Hawaiian islands, right? Boom. Now you got some islands. I like it. Let's do a couple up top. And then we can edit around it. Um, even a couple on the side over here. Frozen islands. I like doing some big ones on the outside. Hmm. Then we can erase wherever those islands are. I like to kind of erase a little bit from the main continent. There we go. There we go. See, now it's starting to shape up a little bit. I think these islands are a little fat. I really like this area down here. Let me move it over. I know there's a way. Someone in the chat told me how to move it over last time, and I need to remember how to do that. 
but yeah, let's. So that's cool. I like that little super tiny islands. I'd like one more here. See, now we got kind of like a triangle, so you can call that something triangle. Um, yeah, just kind of naturally let it happen. And now that you have the Arctic here, it gives you a feel for everything else around it. Um, let's see. I don't like how round this is. Go back to the subtracting tool. And you can try, like, square and subtract if you want something super straight that can be like more man-made and you can use polygon you can use ellipse not gonna worry about those right now but those are options if you want something a little more man-made feeling which again or you know some OCD god that is really trying to uh, control things or destroyed something with explosives like you can use that and create a reasoning for it and that's how you create the history of your world like I don't have a name for this world I don't have the races in this world I don't have a pantheon for this world but mess around with what you have and see what happens see what comes up all right Let's see what else we got. So I like subtracting. Make big, ugly piles and then just start subtracting and see what happens. See, I like that. Nice little peninsula out there. I mean now we're starting to get a now we're starting to get a lot of character and like let's keep the bottom kind of smooth and the top a little jagged for some reason. I don't know. Give it a little bit more character make it different and that will change who lives there who lives here and why a bunch of tiny little tiny little islands again the the arctic can kind of feed into this river as well or this lake as well and if we want it to i like it i think see that looks good that looks good what am I doing? I'm supposed to be adding here. All right, it kind of looks like a trident now. So, you know, that you can put that in the name of the lake. The three points. Lake trident. I don't know. Or what are some famous, make some famous trident up in your... In your in your game, and you can uh, you can use that. All right, let's kind of make this like a. Not quite an island, but. A little separate from the rest of the world. And then we can mess around with uh, what's mountain, what's forest, what's whatever. What's up, Ellie? Yeah, I just had some time, and I wanted to mess with this. I got plans tonight, and I don't know what tomorrow looks like. Switching jobs this week. So I was like, you know what? Let's, I hear that noon is supposed to be good for posting stuff on YouTube, but we're going to find out. So I had to rebuild. My, my stuff didn't save last time, so I had to rebuild uh, that continent or the world. So we still got I I put Ellie Bay in there still. Or Ellie Canal, 
That's right. Ellie Canal is still in there. But I figured that something had to feed into these lakes. So I want to make the Arctic in the center of the world instead of the poles. So the hot parts of the world will be on the top, almost like the equator is for us. And the center part is going to be the, the, the coldest part. And I'm going to see how that works out. So Ellie Canal is in a tundra. Yeah, no, yeah, Easter might not be the best day. I don't know, some, you know, you never know. Some people may be good, but I know I'll be busy on Easter. I got kids. Kids usually want to do a lot of Easter egg hunting and family stuff all day. So, figured why not try out another day? You got big plans this weekend? That's really weird. Yeah, I'm going to keep those there. Yeah, let your mistakes uh let your mistakes like create the world, like just make reasonings for it. Boom, I like that. All right. I really like those two. Let's edit this one now. I think this needs to be in some more. I don't really want too many islands in here. Uh, I feel like this actually can be a little out. And we'll subtract it from the other side. Sweet. Family lunch stuff's always good. Not always, but it can be. Uh, let's see. I'll start at the top and go down to the bottom. I think I'm going to do more, more character on the top, a little smoother on the bottom. Gives me the idea that... The top's a little more rough, I guess. Has a lot more character. We'll see. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's just the basic... This is just kind of letting your mind... Like, not overthinking it. Like... I can overthink stuff, especially when I'm doing anything. I consider this art. Anything artsy, I really can get just in a mental block and kind of just trying to let it flow. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's almost like a claw. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's a little weird, but ultimately pretty good. But yeah, no, the last map making, map making a thing I did, we didn't get a ton of people live, but man, uh, first two days got a couple thousand views on it and some, uh, a, a good bit of subscribers too. So lots of people want maps apparently. So I figured do some map making and then kind of discuss how to build your world around the map that you make, like let it naturally happen. The, the next thing I'll choose is like resources and in D and D stuff that sometimes never comes up, but is always useful are the, what are the natural resources around? That's really how you can choose what cities are successful or what states or city states are successful or countries or kingdoms, however you want to do it. Kind of let this go in a little more. 
I see like so like here everything is going in the same length that doesn't look natural so you want to let some go in a little bit more than others and now that looks even just just one that looks a ton better that's the biggest thing is variation from a couple areas that are kind of pinched in like this where you have uh, have to make strategic decisions sweet all right I guess a good start and you can go in and mess around with it later as much as you want. Probably do a couple more little eyelids up here. It's a little, uh, it feels a little clustered. A little, little too, a little too much. We need some open ocean, right? Like, I kind of feel like there's not enough open ocean. That's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna erase some of this. I'm gonna erase some of the center one. I think it's too much land. It just doesn't feel natural. There we go. True. There's always, you know, other stuff that can be happening off the map. This doesn't have to be the full world. Just kind of the known world, I guess. But that feels better to me. Because if there's not a bunch of open ocean, there needs to be a reason people are trying to sail to this middle part. Right? Like, if that's going to be a big deal, there needs to be a reason for it. And if they can just sail across the top then it doesn't make any sense. So if they have to sail through the middle, like see that bottom part, we need more ocean down there. I think that feels a lot better. And now it just makes more sense to like come across the middle where it's going to be like icy and whatnot, but come across the middle to get to the other continent. Makes more sense to me that way. All right. So here's our texture and color. I'm not going to worry about the color right now. Let's go to our stamp tool. These I definitely want to be mountains. So we'll start with mountains. thinking huge mountains in the middle and then we'll fade it out the nice thing is if you like drag this it'll switch up like randomly for you one second getting a text from the boss All right, we're good. Um, let's do a couple big ones in the middle. That looks pretty good. And swap it up to the middle or medium. See what happens here. Yeah, so I always like the idea of having something hard to traverse. Again, this is going to make... Uh, we'll put some mountains over here too. This is going to make it like 
sea travel more important if the middle of the continents are just incredibly hard to traverse? And this is making me think that this world has a much bigger importance for air and sea travel. So yeah, just by like, you know, that wasn't the plan, but just based off of, uh, that was too much. Just based off of what we're starting to build, like it makes sense. And now this world is going to be, excuse me. Now this world's going to be more sea-based than anything else. There's going to be plenty of land stuff, but big navies are going to make sense here. Hmm. I think I could have done could have done a few more of the medium ones over here, but this is a smaller mountain range. Um so let's go back. All right, so I think we need more mountains kind of going north to west probably. Yeah, wait till, like, there's some other, I got to figure out what textures are on this. I haven't actually messed with this style of map yet. So, it's kind of, it's really interesting checking stuff out. You don't want to eat right now. You don't want to eat right now? I do. You do? Okay, give me five minutes, all right? Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, let's pop out. So if you're putting a main uh, waterway in the perpetually cold area, how is the waterway going to stay open? Well, it'll be, it'll be, you're talking about in the, in the center? I'm going to do that one. You're talking about the, the middle one and at uh, Ellie Canal? Alright, so I'm thinking a little more open. Alright. Okay, so let's go over there. So it's I'm thinking dwarf dwarven icebreaker ships. Right? Like this is ocean. Ocean's not gonna freeze over uh there will be icebergs and whatnot. So Dwarven, like, it would create an industry for Dwarven icebreaker ships, which is something you don't get a ton of in D&D. &D, it's a really cool thing, but I feel like it's uh, very underutilized. So this is going to give us a reason to utilize these really cool things that only exist in Dungeons & Dragons. The icebreaker ships. Yeah, so we can, like, have them come out of, like, maybe this area. Like, it would make sense. Kind of have, like, a Twin Cities thing going on here. One on the ocean side and one on the lake side. So have a Dwarven area. We got, you know, we got mountains and stuff over here. So it, it kind of makes sense um, to have dwarves and whatnot in this area. We can keep the mountain theme going. Maybe one big mountain. Yeah. I like that. One big mountain pass over here. So this is really cool about making the maps is you can just kind of zoom in and start creating something. I wonder what the tags look like here for labeling stuff. So I can just put the text, but I I know they have like ribbons and stuff, but 
we'll just put text in for now and uh, icebreaker mountain boom and then we're gonna make this one is that how you spell canal Ellie canal Let's see if they have, yeah, so like you can put banners, do white banners or clear banners? Let's check both of them out. So you can put banners down. Yeah, that looks cool. probably need to shrink both of them all right so let's shrink this down and then shrink this one down that's still a little, a little bit big all right I want to Oh, that's cool. Put it behind the mountain. Probably should change the color up with the... Uh, with the ice or the, the snow behind it. What color should we make that? Let's give it an orange. Nah. Let's do red. I like red. Let's do red. Boom. I Icebreaker Mountain. Ah, that blends in so much. I thought it looked really cool, man. Let's try the other banner out. See how that works. And they have different options, too, for the banners. I really like the look of those, but let's try... Um, let's try this one out. Yeah, that's gonna, that'll be better. Go back to your pointer tool. I really like this, but I'm going to need to, maybe I'll use this for the, the name of the actual continent or world. Yeah, let's use it for the world name. So we'll put it up here. Yeah, that'll look really cool. But for these, that background's important, I think. Not the mountain. All right, so you can change the layer. So we're gonna want to pop this up just by using this little tool right here. Let's make it not stack. It's just such a long word. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I like red with it. Um, just do Breaker Mountain. Let's let's try that out. If I can select the stinking words, size it up before you put it over a bunch of mountains and stuff. It'll help. Eventually, I'm going to change this just to Breaker Mountain, <laughs> just because it's too too big. It's 
I'll do that on another time. So I'm not just sitting here messing with it. All right. Let's move this over here. Okay, probably doesn't need to be this big. That'll look good. Let's go with red. Shrink it down a little bit. You can bend it too. Depends on how fa fancy you want to get. But I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. But there are ways to like rotate and all that kind of stuff. But let's not worry about that right now. I will. I can stay in this this tutorial like for hours and hours. This is just kind of placeholders. Okay. Uh, we need some forest. I feel like that's kind of naturally. Let's go up top. Things of forest kind of in here. So let's see what we got. What else we got in here? I love using these compasses and stuff. Here's our good forest. So pine tree, palms, of course, on the beach, hills, if you want to do like um, hobbits, halflings, craters and stuff, if you want to do kind of a, I like this for desert terrain. And then you can use these for cities. I mean, a pyramid, orcs, or you can just use symbols for cities. That's cool. Got to put this in the... So that's what's nice is the, the open ocean that I left open. Now I can do something like this. Little tail. And then let's make it bigger. And now whales live there. All right, you can, you can mess with this for just... Hours and hours and get totally engulfed in it. But I'm going to do some basics for the tutorial. Oh, I didn't even look at the other stuff. That way, that's probably a better whale than the other one. Let's get rid of that other one. Delete. All right, um, trees. Which tree should we use? Dead trees, let's go with pine trees. Let's separate a little bit from the tundra. We'll do the more Christmas tree. One somewhere else. Uh, how big should we do these trees? That looks pretty good. So now we got like forest area right here. And this part is really where this map maker thing is just a lifesaver. Because you try to do this, drawing it, it just, it looks great, but it takes freaking forever. But yeah, that looks super clean. Let's try these pine trees up here a little bit. So it's like, you know, a little harsher, has it so has a little more of an edge to it. Kind of put it between the mountains. Uh it layers it really well. You can obviously have them over the mountains, but you don't really want that. So it layers them really well for you. And just takes kind of some of this dead area and makes it look fantastic. I love that. I think that looks awesome. Let's make some beaches up top, huh? 
uh, go a little softer. So here's kind of the in between. Man, I think that looks good. Kind of have a valley in there. And this will just be like a big plains area. Then the tops will have uh... and you can just hold down and kind of make it more thick, less thick. Like I, I just I think that looks really cool. Then let's try some pine trees, eh? Yeah, we gotta find a desert. We gotta find a desert and mess around with that. They're not as thick, so I don't... Let me undo that. I think that's too... Too close together for pine trees. I think they need to be a little more separate. Yeah. I want to do like a river, like a Nile river type thing and have them by that. Almost, buddy. We're almost finished. We got two more minutes. Two more minutes. Whoa. All right, let's do three minutes. But yeah, so now, now we know that these islands are tropical. Because the trees. I should probably save my work. It's a good point, Tool. Yeah, so we need to do thing in this right side over here. Um. Let's get rid of this water. Do like a Nile River kind of thing going on over here. And this would just be a huge barren desert up here. All right, so we're going to have like a... Nice little river going through. If you want to get your river a little smaller, do the add tool and not that much. Bring it, you can bring it in a little bit. We're going to leave it though. But it's almost, it just almost looks a little separate. Oh, I'm at 10, that's why. Yeah, so bring your ad total like one. That's too much. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. I know you can. I know you can do it. Maybe you can't. All right. And then go back to those trees. And so kind of like the Nile, you have all these tropical trees going around and the only life in that part of Egypt is around the river. Actually, I think the more south we go, um, it would actually start to get some life to it. So we can do some kind of normal, get some more trees in here. What's up, buddy? That's too much. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this this will be a big desert area up here. Kind of gets in a little more forest, and then closer you get to the Arctic, it's a little bit more. Should we make a little bit of water? Yeah, let's split up the waterway. Why not? Let's fork the river. Yeah, that looks cool. Much better. There we are. All right. Well, I'm going to use a few more of the tools, and then we'll pick this one up a little bit later. Uh, cliffs and craters. Yeah. Let's, so here's what's really cool. Like, use these to make something like something happened why is this a big barren area well because there was a huge crater that happened some some big impact happened right there boom messed everything up around it i'll do like a big canyon let's turn it this way You can do kind of cracks in the ground from the crater. Yeah, let's make it look like there are some cracks happening from this crater here. So you can have like uh, something from the gods or something that happened and now all these big cracks come out, a big war, a big explosion in the past. There could have been a bunch of technology in the past that was wiped away It, it does, and this is a big nuke. Like it don't matter. You can use the tools to help you create your world and let's put a big pyramid up here. We're in the desert. Why not? And we could do a snow pyramid if we wanted to. It doesn't have to be a desert pyramid. Let's make a snow pyramid. All right, now we got a snow pyramid. Why is there a snow pyramid? I don't know. But it's a thing now. Blends in with the mountains. Does it have a link to the desert period? Sure. Pyramid? Sure. Why not? Take one, not the other. Let's see what else we got. A world tree? Yeah. Where's the big forest? All right, let's put a world tree over here. Bring it all the way to the top layer. Boom, big world tree. Just like that. Probably want a little more hidden than that, but... Yeah, let's see what else there is. So you got like the ziggurat style, Stonehenge. That's a cool thing. That's the city up here now. Big evil tower. I don't know what that is. It's like an elven city, I guess. Yeah, like let use the tools ice palace sure let's do an ice palace boom there's an ice palace there okay let's move these around big ice palace next to the water frozen style uh well a stone would have been much easier to find in the mountains than other desert yeah that's true that's very true river running south and north i like it I like it a lot. 
this kind of has like a lighthouse feel to it. So let's put this one over here. Like that, a big lighthouse mansion thing on the bay. And then I feel like bringing this down. Let's make like a big forest down here. And this should be down here. And we'll do like a big forest right in the middle. And that's just one of the things. Like, yeah, human icons, elven I elvish icons, orc icons. It's a little bigger because it's a big hidden forest, right? It's a big world tree that's like hanging. See how good this thing is at just, like, knowing what's supposed to be the most important thing. There we go. Cool forest area. You think it's cool how this tool can help you build the story? That's what I'm saying. Like... You just got to let it like there's just so many cool things in here that I'm not even getting to yet. Let's check out the orc stuff. If you just let it speak to you instead of trying to be rigid. All right, let's make this an orc encampment up top here. Um, like don't come in with preconceived notions. Let your brain tell you what's most important. That's really cool. Let's do the first one or this one. I think this one this one looks bigger. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that big, but Alright, let's get rid of this pyramid. But this can be just a massive orc like encampment. And just leave it wide. Like, they're not building high, but they're going wide. Or we can put it over here. Should we put it over here? Nah, let's keep that barren. Monster, I think big monsters and stuff over here would be good. Let's do some of the dwarf details, and then I need to get going, feed my child. I'm just, I just have so much fun. And this is like the least detailed. The other maps are so freaking detailed. This is just big picture stuff. Like, I mean, that's a cool looking, what am I doing? It's a cool looking world already. I don't, I don't know if I like how fat the bottom is, but oh well. Let's try to make this look like it's built into the mountain. Yeah. That's kind of a cool standalone dwarf place. I love it. This, this, yeah, this, this thing's awesome. Like I said, this is just like very simple. Uh, I might do a little more snow effects, but I'm definitely going to add more cities around here. So you got like Whoever these people, whoever these people are, and let's pick one more big civilization to be near the the southern end. Humans? We haven't done any humans yet. Let's do humans. Mm. 
No, that's not the human one I want. Hmm. Here we go. Detailed humans. Let's go with... Big Castle? Oops. Should we do Big Castle down here? Just make this a giant... Hmm. I kind of think Big Castle needs to be down here. So this whole southern... This feels like a big human area. And... This Big Castle is like reigning over this whole land. It's a great defensive strategy. But... Let's go with this one up here. Yeah. That feels better. But up here, right here. Um, it's been five minutes. I'm, I'm closing it up now, buddy. Yeah, I feel like you're. I felt like I should do more cities down. Let's do one on each of these little bays. Yeah, I'm gonna get your lunch. What do you want for lunch, buddy? We can do strawberries. All right, looks a little odd. I'll I'm, I'll move it around a little bit, but I kind of like this. Battling over the bay type of thing. Probably something over here, too. All right. I'll mess around with this again. We'll do another stream uh, some other time. But this just kind of gives you an idea of the stuff that you can do with this tool. And this is the very simple tool. Once we get... Let me save this. I'll go back to my my original world and show you how detailed and colored those ones are because that will be the next map we do after we finish this one but yeah i like it man i think that's a really cool looking map and then when you do a zoom in to one of those like just the lake probably a map of just that lake would be really good so you do just the lake, the different cities around the lake, different, and that would be a full on like, like a lake war, like how, like that's something I've never heard of before. Let's do that. A big civil war over this, over the resourceful lake, right? But yeah. So this is the uh, like same program, different style of map, and you can go into just detail on. City names, what more closely what they look like, little surrounding towns, uh, walls, you know, magical f effects, fog effects, whirlpools, and really get in depth floating cities, giant, you know, uh, cracks. This one, I had this world made already, but it had everything that I needed to create it the different types of trees, different colors of trees. It's really cool stuff, but all right. Well, hey, for those of you who showed up, thanks for showing up, and um, hope you enjoyed the incarnate map tutorial, world building kind of stuff. So, yeah, and the whole the whole campaign is based around this chasm. Like this is the story for it. So you take something cool like that and build build a story around it. Okay, so the other one is battle maps. And Ellie, you were here for this. Um, if it loads up, I was just looking and I saw this really cool face. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Like face and hand. I was like, yeah, like let's make it a buried face and hand. 
and put this gym that was in there. And that gym is a big part of the story. And we don't know why. This statue is a big part of the story, and we don't know why. It was just kind of a footnote, but it just looks awesome. Like how putting that in there versus versus taking it out, it just it makes it more detailed. Like it gives a, just a little, like your imagination, something to, to grab onto. So using these little... tools and finding the different stickers and whatever to uh you know cobwebs okay why are there cobwebs now you got to come up with a story for why there's cobwebs waves whatever uh it's not loading up super fast but anyway yeah right it, like it made your imagination go when you first saw it right like you start it i didn't have to i didn't have to tell you hey there's a blue gym there there's hey there's this like you saw it you're like, all right, how would my character react to that? And now I got to ask questions. Now I need to see if I can remove it. And we spent 30 minutes on that one little detail. You know, a carpet versus a destroyed carpet. Like it's, it's all kind of, there's tons of stuff you can upload to. This is a great, great program. Anyway. All right. I got to make lunch. Hope you guys have a, Got a little bit of inspiration. Make some maps yourself. Have any questions, put it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Uh, there's even a link to donate. And I just use those donations to buy more programs, buy more stuff for the maps, stuff for D&D Beyond. And, uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys sticking around this whole time. I will end the stream here. Check you later. Happy, happy Easter, Ellie. Hope you have a good one.